What is going on guys and girls? My name is James and welcome back today to Roblox. How are we doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today of course it is time once again for some brand new Bee Swarm Simulator and today we are in the test realm to check out the start of the spicy, spicy quests. Yeah, on it, last night added a bunch of stuff into the test realm, including quest lines for the spirit bear and the stick bug. And oh my goodness, <laughs> these quests are nuts. So, three, two, one, claim the hive. Yeah, how are we all doing today? Hopefully you guys and girls are doing awesome. Uh, I think we're pretty close. I feel like... Sooner than later, I feel like the update is going to come out into the main game. Last sort of yesterday was a really, really promising thing because on it did the quest lines for the spirit bear and the stick bug. And I think there's also been some movement in the actual ornament quests and stuff. I've got a bunch of pictures to show you guys. I think also the naughty list made a return into the test realm. And this is all really, really positive news because it means that all of these things are in their final stages of testing before they get added into the main game for the second part of the update. <laughs> So yeah, as I mentioned, we're going to check out everything in this episode. We're going to talk through the quest lines, see what we need to do. We're also going to take a look at some of the decorated ornaments. Now, uh... <laughs> On it has added the decoration for the wind shrine. You can't see it right now, obviously, because we haven't done the spirit bear quest line. Um, but yeah, it's nuts. It's absolutely crazy. Um, but anyway, right. So I went and checked the previous episode. We set a light goal of 5,000 in that one. And we managed to do it. Congratulations. We got 5,600, which is great. Um, can we try and go for a 5,000 again? I think that would be good. We, we got it last time, but it was fairly close. So I think we'll stick with the 5,000. Uh, and yeah, just thank you very much for being here. Uh, for hanging out with me talking about bees <laughs> it's a good time right okay so i had a bunch of people send me just like loads and loads of these pictures yesterday about you know all of the stuff that's been added to the test realm so yeah thank you very much always really really cool when people let me know on twitter um so yeah there's like a bunch of pictures and stuff i don't quite know like who are the original people of these um but like i'll just i'll just post what i found um but yeah some of these of course are from bee swarm sim leaks <laughs> as you may have expected and i think what we'll do is let's actually start here with the spirit Bear. Now, the only slight issue is, uh, in the test realm, I don't have 35 bees, so I can't actually get into the 35 bee zone, but that doesn't really matter, because we can still actually see what it's going to look like, and we can take a look at that quest. So yeah, from Bee Swarm Sim Leaks here, the first thing that I wanted to show you is how on it has decorated the Wind Shrine. Um... <laughs> Look at that. So if you guys remember, on it mentioned, I think a few days ago, we mentioned it in a video, um, that the Spirit Bear quest line was going to be more Valentine's themed than Beesmas themed. And this is kind of just like a, a little bit of a joke kind of thing, because we're going to get the update closer to February than December. <laughs> kind of um so yeah it's gonna be a valentine's themed quest and as you can see from the picture the wind shrine is pink and it's got a little bow on it and it's got little hearts oh isn't that nice i like that now from what i can guess like the wind shrine currently right now is not decorated so i'm kind of wondering like maybe on it added the wind shrine decoration and then took it out or you have to actually do the spirit bears quest in order to get the wind shrine decorated i'm not 100 percent sure right now because as i'm doing this here the wind shrine is still at its usual sort of look right <laughs> The, uh, the quest. Here it is. So the quest is called Spirit Bear's Galantine Shrine, and it is a bit of a spicy boy. So you've got to remember these quests that we're going to look at here, these are much higher end game quests. These are going to be a lot more difficult to complete than the previous Beesmus ones. And this is what Spirit Bear has in store. So we start off big here with 240 million white pollen, but... But this is the one which I think some people are going to find a little bit tricky. You have to collect 40 million white pollen from the rose field, the strawberry field, and the blue flower field. Now, the thing about this is that these quests are for red fields, but there isn't that much white in the actual field to begin with. So we have seen a few of these quests previously. I think... Um, oh, dude, which ones were they? I think they're in the Bucker and the Riley Bee one sometimes. We had to collect, like white from the um 
from the, the clover field and stuff. So this is just another example of that. But yeah, a lot of white pollen from fields that aren't very white. So, you know, you're going to have to use your tropical drinks and stuff. You know, really try and boost that white up. Uh, 4 million goo here from red flowers. Uh, we have 250 moon charms. Donate 300 strawberries. Donate 10 red extracts. Donate 5 magic beans. Donate 3 tropical drinks. Donate 1 star jelly. Use 5 glitters. Use 25 cloud vials. Use 100 snowflakes. And match 25 pairs in the memory match. So I think out of the three quests, this one is the closest to the previous ones that we've had. I would say this is the lowest in difficulty for the new quest that are being added but I think the only one that's going to be a little bit trickier for some people is going to be the one where you have to collect the white pollen from the red fields that may take a bit of time but all in all it's not super heavy it's not too bad now we need to talk about everybody's favorite sticky boy <laughs> <laughs> because not only does the, um, the, the the stick bug now have a quest in the test realm, but he also summons a brand new little thing. Um, it's like one of the cutest things I think I've seen in Bee Swarm. So yeah, once again, these are from Bee Swarm Sim Leaks. Um, but essentially how this works is um, you can summon these guys, festive nymphs, and these will appear... I would imagine when you are doing a stick bug so these are the festive nymphs now they're basically like a little stick nymph but they've got a christmas hat on <laughs> which is like the weirdest thing ever and what do the actual festive nymphs do well they give you a festive nymph blessing so here's an example here it gives you a capacity boost it gives you instant bee gather conversion it gives you one honey per pollen percent boost and a one percent plus bee attack so this says here times one i would imagine that this actually stacks up to a certain amount of of you know times and i think you get these from simply doing a stick bug now these were accidentally added into the test realm well not accidentally but there was a little bit of an oh by the way look at the token for them <laughs> look how cute that is it's adorable right i love that so yeah on it here did say the, uh, the, the stick nymphs are only supposed to spawn uh, the festive nymphs after you have completed the stick bug quests. So apparently they were spawning before, but the actual kind of reward, I suppose, for completing the stick bug is going to be the ability to have these festive nymphs spawn when you are doing the stick bug the next time. So yeah, these are going to be just like little boosty things. They're super cute. Whew, do you want to see the quest? So this one, once again, isn't too bad. Now, I've actually said like just before this that I think the spirit bear one is probably the easiest one out of the three um I don't know like it kind of depends like how you play the game and I'll tell you the reason why I think this one might be slightly more difficult um because of like a time thing this is kind of what I'm basing this off but this is the stick bugs quest it is called stick bug nymphs hats and it begins with a nice little ooh that's 44 billion <laughs> That's one of the reasons why it's a little bit more tricky, but we'll get to it in just a second. So 44 billion pollen, um, 10 billion pollen from the pineapple patch, 6 billion pollen from the clover, 5 billion from the dandelion, collect 250 tokens from stick bug, collect 100 tokens from stick bug defense totems, uh, collect 500 tokens from sprouts. Uh, here's the big one, collect 150 ingredients with the blender. So I think this one is going to be a fairly tricky one for people especially people who don't have too many resources in their account uh, of course it's 44 billion so this is definitely meant for a higher level player but i think this one is going to take a various amount of time you've got to discard 25 b quips which is the maddest thing but you're going to have to get the b quips and then you're going to have to discard them from your storage and that's going to count towards this quest line you have to catch 500 falling coconuts defeat five werewolves and a single king beetle um so yeah you can see that like between those two this is a bit of a step up um <laughs> it's a pretty big step up and the irony is this isn't even the hardest quest Unfortunately, though, we can't actually look at the, the BBM quest just yet. There was like an unofficial version, but I'm waiting for like the official screenshot. But the BBM one is going to be the big boy. This is the second big boy. This is the little boy. This is like the, the first stage of the boss before the big finale. This is like eating breakfast. This, this is, We've got dinner time coming and it's a big one. <laughs> we'll cover that as soon as it comes out. 
So yeah, as you can see, um, these are very spicy quests. These are going to take a little bit longer than your usual quest lines, um, but it all contributes towards finishing that beesmas tree and uh, yeah, sort of completing all of the ornaments and stuff. So Ani is definitely going to have to extend the time that Beesmus is running for. So he did mention that it was going to extend until March the 1st or the end of February, which basically it's the 20, what is it? The 8th, 28th of January right now. So for argument's sake, <laughs> we're only going to have 28 days to finish all of these quests, which in my mind might not be quite enough for a lot of people, especially with the BBM one coming with the bubble popping. Because uh, those do actually take a really long time. So, to be honest with you, I could actually see, right now, it being extended further than the end of February. <laughs> to be honest, I think we probably need at least, like, 45 days for, like, most people to be able to do them. I don't know. But I, I feel like 28 days is not quite enough. Hmm. I'm not sure. Now, as I mentioned about BBM here, um, I don't believe currently the quest line is available in the, the test realm. I don't think so anyway. I did like a bit of research and stuff and I didn't see any screenshots for the actual BBM quest, um, but I'm sure those will pop up very soon and I'll share them in a video. That's the one that I'm most excited for seeing because apparently it's going to be insane. And there's rumors that although the, the bubble popping is under 50,000, apparently it's like... 42,000? 43,000? Something like that. So it's still pretty high amongst other crazy things. Ooh, Mondo Chick's nearly down. Oh yeah, I forgot I was in the test drama. My bees sucked. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love being in the test drama. I just wish I had my main account, but hey, it's all good. Anyway, right, so let's actually talk about BBM as much as we possibly can do. Now, I believe that when it goes nighttime, I think we can go up there and actually see the naughty list in game. We can! All right, so we're gonna wait for nighttime. I'm gonna hardcore parkour my way up to the top and we're gonna take a look. But on it here does say that the BBM will only give you the quest if you've completed all the other decorations and all of Bee Bear's quests. So this is the end game. This is the ultimate finale. Now we've mentioned previously as well that Bee Bear himself is gonna be also getting 10 additional quests in the next update. And the rewards for those are gonna be the festive wreath bee quip for the Bee Bear, uh, sorry, for the festive bee. And we're also gonna be getting extra bee quip storage space, not case space, but storage space. So alongside of the stick bug quest and of the spirit bear quest, you're going to have 10 bee bear quests once you complete all of those quests so 12 in total then you will only have access to get the final bbm quest for the final ornament of beesmus <laughs> it's gonna be a grind dude someone summoned in gummy bear <laughs> oh man this is the first time that i've actually seen it in game look 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 at that! Oh my goodness. So yeah, check this out. I just saw it pop up. It says, Gummy Bear set his sights on the pepper patch. So, this reminds me, this was like the first, I feel like it was the first event we had, or the second event in Bee Swarm ever, was the introduction of Gummy Bear, and he had his cannon. <laughs> Look at this. Hang on, wait. Boom! <laughs> it fires it, and uh, basically he set his sights on a certain field. So, he's firing gumdrops right now into the pepper patch, and basically it's just going to cover the field in a bunch of goo. So, essentially you're going to get the benefit of all of the gumdrops and stuff without having to use any gumdrops. Uh, I just thought I'd show you that. Oh, and he's changed fields! Here you go, we can take a look. So, he's now swapped to the strawberry field, and here we go. Every, like, I don't know five seconds or something he fires a bunch of gumdrops from his cannon he's moved it's on a rocket what oh my goodness i've just spotted it look the platform is on like a rocket base <laughs> is it like a ufo it kind of is dude i thought it was just a platform i didn't realize it was on a where has he got a rocket ship from ow I love it. Absolutely love it. So yeah, he actually changes direction as well based off which field he's firing into. And uh, he's just covering the field in goo. That's so cool. I mean, we did look at that technically a few episodes ago, but we haven't seen it in action yet. Oh, and you get free gumdrops. Wow. That's so cool. Right, okay, so it's just gone nighttime. Let's go and jump up here and check out the actual naughty list in the game. So we... Oh, jeez. 
Okay, I have a speed boost, whoa. <laughs> Which I really don't like for the parkour. Um, let me get rid of it. Um, so yeah, we did technically check this out with images. Um, no, it's giving me a three times speed boost now. Oh, you stupid bees. Uh, I don't like jumping with speed. Uh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so we did take a little look at this last time, and here is the naughty list. It says here, to do, erase this, make naughty list for 2020, last year, do not forget. So this is like a placeholder text, um, and it's going to say other stuff when the actual naughty list comes out proper. Um, but yeah, it says here, there aren't any names on the naughty list. That can't be right. So yeah, I kind of low-key want to be on the naughty list. Um, <laughs> just for trolling on it for the entire year. Um, <laughs> that would be cool. But yeah, essentially, like, what's going to happen is every single time you, you activate this, so you have to finish the BBM quest, of course, which is going to be super difficult. But if you are one of those people who can do that, then you're going to be able to kill every player on the server by dropping a lump of coal on their head which can be dodged, but if you do get hit by the coal, um, you'll get like a buff. Um, and you'll get lumps of coal, I think. Like, you'll actually get a lump of coal for using it, which is one of the B quips. Um, so it's one of the maddest things. Like, it's a four hour buff as well. It's called, what was it, Beesmus Redemption or something like that? Uh, Bubble Bee Man's Redemption, something Redemption or, or something along those lines. I can't quite remember, but uh, it's gonna be cool. But yeah, this is where it is. It's on the very top of the inside of the 30B zone. So yeah, unfortunately for today's episode, I think that is about it. Oh, they're doing the festive things. Look, someone summoned it. Look. Oh, they've got no hats on. <laughs> oh, wait, did I just not see this before? These stick nifs aren't in a good mood. You sense a bit of jealousy. Oh, you need to put the hats on them. Wait, how did I not see that? I'm going mad. Um, yeah, this, this is the platform here, just literally behind. But you have to put the hats on them, and then once the hats are on, then uh, you'll complete the quest. <laughs> but yeah, unfortunately, I think that's about it for today's episode. There are a few other bits and pieces there, but we'll cover that in the next one. Hopefully, we'll be able to actually look at the BBM quest line as well. And yeah, exciting times. I will see you guys in that one. So until then, thanks, and see ya.